Oh, this guy has no idea what's about to happen to him. Incoming message from the Klingon ship, sir. Would you like to put it on screen? Go ahead. Run, you miserable Toba! Fear the wrath of a Klingon warrior! Toba. What is a Toba, anyways? A Toba? Toba? That's what it was? It was lowercase. Was it a noun? Maybe Klingon Senate. I suppose Klingon Senate structure doesn't work the same. I wonder what Wrath of a Klingon Warrior means. It means he's going to start shooting at me. Oh, he is shooting at me. Oh, that's right. I forgot. What with him doing no damage to me at all. I wonder if he'll just get bored. Wow. Expert piloting. Like I have any room to speak, though. Toba. Is that like a small animal? Toba. Sounds so, sounds like something. Maybe maybe it's something like a sounds like. Oh, autonomous regeneration sequence are good. Just in case, you never know. I wonder what a toba is. Sounds like like a Klingon equivalent of a bunny rabbit or something. Toba. 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 I'll have to look that up. I wonder if it's on Memory Alpha. I wonder if I'll get a hail from him. I wonder if he'll go like, Buy Kronos or something. By the fires of Praxis. By Jumpox Beard. I suppose I should put an end to this. Let's... Yeah, sorry, dude, but... Yeah. Scan computer core. Scan is complete, sir. Captain, the Klingon ship is hailing us again. Putting it on screen. Today is a good day to die. Ramming speed! Now to get that, since it was sitting there taunting me the whole time. It tasks me and I shall have it! Aww. Captain, I found something interesting in the Klingon computer banks. There is a communique ordering them to bring the biomimetic gel from the Corvette research facility to a location on Hatoria. That's over the border into Klingon space, sir. If we go to Hatoria, we should expect to encounter Klingon patrols. We'll have to be ready for anything. All right, just a minute. There's scanning to be done. All right. Let's fly. I remember that place. Hatoria! Wee spinning! Jesus. Chug, chug, chug. Why is it chugging in sector space? It shouldn't. I wonder, have they 
fixed post-processing yet. Post-processing gotten borked. No, they haven't. Makes the game look like a bad acid trip when you turn on post-processing right now. Which, of course, sucks because I can't use bloom effects without post-processing. And... You know, like the like all like all of the all of the little graphical bells and whistles, you can't use them without post processing being on. But if I turn post processing on, it makes the game look like ass. It didn't do that before. I had post processing like before. I had post processing on when I recorded. It looked fine. So I don't know what's going on there. It's just something. It it must have been something with the. What is it now? DirectX 11? When they updated that? It must be something with like that. It must be something there. there's like a value in there that is just m messing it up whenever you're using it. You're not on like a machine that runs DirectX 11. Because I don't think DirectX 11 came out for, uh, for uh, like XP and such. But it still should work. Hatoria. A Klingon colony world with more than 3.2 million inhabitants. Klingons make up the majority of residents, with Nausikans being the dominant minority group. Dominant minority group. Average surface temperatures are more than 20 degrees lower than averages on Kronos, and snow is common throughout half of the solar year. Worf, son of Moog, was briefly governor of the colony world in the 2390s. Ugh, Worf, don't get me started on him. Worf, what have you done? What have you done, Worf, man? You lived through this before in Deep Space Nine. You lived through this exact situation before. Shapeshifters and the Klingons and the Federation at each other's throats. And you know what? You said that the Klingons were wrong then. So what changed? Oi. Now, this says to be stealthy. I will be stealthy, but I don't need to be stealthy. So, yeah. We're in enemy territory now, sir. Scanners are picking up multiple targets. We will need to conceal the ship from the Klingon sensors. The interference from the nebula should be enough to hide us, sir. We can use them to cover our movement until we get within transporter range. However, I recommend we reduce our speed inside the nebula. Full impulse will not be available. Well, if full impulse isn't available anyways, why are we reducing our speed from full impulse when we can't go to full impulse? Conceal the ship inside the nebula. Now, really, all I have to do is just sort of make sure that I'm not close enough to these guys for them to trigger a hostile fight. You know, rather than conceal myself constantly inside the nebula. Wow, that was hard. We are within transporter range, sir. The away team can beam down on your command. Hazard team. Hazard team, Locke. Hazard team. Not the away team. There's a difference between the away team and the hazard team. The away team take normal missions. The hazard team take the hard missions. Which are most of the missions in the game, actually. The laboratory building is southwest of this location, sir. Be careful, Captain. There will be resistance from the Klingons. The away teams take regular away missions. The hazard team takes away missions that are hazardous. Hence the name. Hazard team. Hazards. So yeah, the first time I went on this mission, I got my bottom handed to me. Uh, it was at the very end, where there were, a, were a, like a bunch of there were a bunch of Klingons and like two Swordmasters maybe, and my whole team got wiped out. Locke was the only guy left standing. He was the guy who had to keep fighting on, and. Uh, 
that was pretty much all, all he had. The only way he was able to hang on was to use shield recharge constantly. So everybody was dead, and I refused to, to respawn because I didn't want to have to redo all of that. Never give up, never surrender, you know, that sort of thing. So I refused to respawn, so I ended up controlling Locke as if it were some kind of literally some kind of turn-based RPG and it was actually it was actually fairly uh it was a, it was actually okay I actually managed to pull myself out of that scrape with just lock okay uh, I believe somebody had just pulled out the cane although there was nobody to suck energy from That crate, that's what I was thinking. That crate looks suspiciously placed. There's nothing else like that over here, so that crate has to be usable. Yeah, small hypo X2. I got large hypos. I don't need small hypos. Oh, I remember when they f fragging nerfed the hypos, too. That was awful. Especially trying to do uh, cloaked intentions with that. That was bad. I'm really glad that they put them back. Uh, I remember before, the pathing was not as, gr as good as it is now, and my boffs would keep falling off the sides of the path. That got pretty annoying. All right, let's see. So just past here is where I got smashed when I first played. I got wiped. Small power cell. So yeah, there's a bunch of Klingons up here. Like... Like, they're, they're all over here, and they're all over there. They're just all over the place. And the first time I went through here, I got my ass handed to me. And I must have somehow aggroed the second group. You don't have to fight these guys to continue in. I just heard uh, 8 petting her Borg Tribble. I love that sound. Crate! Can I reach it? I must reach it. No, I didn't want to enter it! I wanted the crate! Ah, oh, damn it! Oh. Okay, sorry about that. Had to check on something again. This is a, long, this is a longer mission than, than uh, the last few that I've been doing. I'm reading unusual life signs in the lab, sir. We should proceed with caution. I recommend that we attempt to access the laboratory's databanks for more information. Alright. Just being sure. Let's see. Let's go ahead and bust out the guns, which I holstered for some reason, despite the fact that I'm in hostile territory. But I should always have them out. So, here we have a bunch of Gorn who are sitting on some operating tables. Oh, you certainly will not get up and try and kill me. This Gorn is 20% heavier and 30% stronger than average. He has been infused with augment DNA. Records show this patient had to be killed after he attacked his doctors in a rage. Heightened emotional response is a sign of augmentation. 
So if he had augment DNA and he's been showing signs of augmentation, he must be what? So yeah. Holy Jesus! Thank you! I don't know which one of you just did that, but thank you! On me like white on rice. Not that he can touch me. I just got something. I just got an accolade. Cold-blooded. They're really letting... And there's Pran with the Ophidian Cane. They're really letting him have it with those things. Holy crap! That's the most I've ever seen them use them at once! Wow. But yeah, before when you used the Ophidian Cane, you could cancel it out by, you know, moving. Which was good, if you suddenly found yourself being fired on from all sides. But now, you can't move. You have to wait until the animation has finished, and, uh... If you do that in the middle of a firefight, which is really the only time you can, because they have to be near you, you're a dead man. So, yeah, you're not going to be seeing much of me using it. Tricorder readings indicate that this Gorn's body was infused with human augment DNA. He did not survive the procedure. Speak with Amar Singh. So yeah, this is what I meant when I was saying you weren't going to be seeing very many Ultimate Klingons in the mission entitled THE Ultimate Klingon. We're seeing Ultimate Gorn. <laughs> it's kind of mistitled, if you ask me. What, does everybody just want to like, stand next to this guy? Except for Lima, she's wondering what the hell they're, what the hell they're doing too. You guys know you're on my payroll, right? Right? Okay. Eight. Pran. You take that side. Lima. Revan. You take this guy. Uh, I mean, come on, really? You don't look at it. A bunch of big, giant, dangerous enemies being contained by a force field, and the guy I've been tracking down standing right in front of me. Yeah, these guys totally aren't going to get released on me. I mean, this is ju this is just being sensible. Talk to Amar Singh, Starfleet officers. Come here to stop me. You should thank me. I'm close. So very close this time. Humans weren't quite right. Vulcans were too analytical. It's taken me hundreds of tries to get it right. But this time, this time I've got it. Combining several different species will create the perfect race. We will rule the galaxy. Take care of them. We could use their DNA. I'm not worried about the one Pran's dealing with, because he can just freeze it. Ow. Okay, you want you want an ass kicking? I'll give you an ass kicking. That's right. Uh. See what I mean? This one had a freeze ray and a shotgun on it. It wasn't going anywhere. He... Come on. He doesn't return to his... Uh... Weapon animation whenever I, I'm done in front... Whenever I'm done with melee mode. Like, he doesn't stop. Uh, he doesn't, like, get out of melee mode and just... His melee mode animation and just sort of return to his normal ready stance. I kind of don't like that. Scan this?
busted cages. That corn was not going anywhere. Get off the boxes, Pran. Thank you. This way. Okay. Why am I even scanning these? I mean, it's not like I need more of this stuff. And it isn't like, I got that perfect and it's only giving me like two mineral samples. Screw that. Again, why would you put the console? Like, I can understand putting a force field up to protect yourself from other people, but why would you put a console right next to it that could deactivate it? Come on, really? At the very least, have it voice activated. Like, be able to... Be able to... Give, you, give yourself something on the other side so you can override the override. I mean, come on. I'll bet there isn't even a console in that room. We'll see. Is there even a console in here, or did you just leave yourself... You left yourself defenseless. Alright, everybody. If he moves, shoot him. 